today I'm going to show you the Tensile Connect. It's a two-person hammock slash treehouse. Probably the most unusual part of a Tensile for most people will be these ratchets. So I'll show you how to work them first. There's three of them, three rolls of straps, one for each corner, and then the tent, and finally the rain fly. You have the ratchet, and you have the end of your strap. So this is what it looks like. This end is attached to your tensile, and this end is coming off the tree. So first of all, what we need to do is try and find this lever here, and pull that, and then open it out, and then feed the strap through the hole there, and pull it through, and then you can start ratcheting away. And as you can see, it starts to move around and clasp onto that ratchet. When you want to release it, you pull the lever again, it loosens up, and then everything will pull through. We've actually got a nice, clean, clear, soft area here. And now what I'm gonna do is make sure that each corner is aligned with a tree. Each corner has a ratchet strap. We need to attach this ratchet to the D-ring at the end. So what we're gonna do is just thread the loop in, which leaves the hole. The ratchet goes through the hole, pull that tight, and then lay the ratchet out. Next up, we need to attach the straps to the trees. Find a good spot on the trunk, at least three feet above ground level, feed the loop around the tree, and pull the rest of the strap through the loop. Pull tightly, and this will ensure the strap grips the tree. The long end of the line is now ready to be fed into the ratchet. Do this with each corner, but don't tighten them all immediately. Just walk around the tensile and tighten bit by bit, ensuring the ratchet is gathering the strap neatly by keeping the loose end in a line with the strap coming from the tree. Now with all three corners fixed and aligned, we need to set up the tent part of the tensile. Luckily, there's some poles in the bag. The poles can only enter these orange hole seams from one end, so you can't go wrong. Give that a little tweak, let that go in there. Now the tent poles are in, it's time to slowly start lifting the tensile in the keys, just to keep these lines nice and straight. So maybe a knee on it to begin. Now we're starting to get true tension on each one of the lines and the tensile is just starting to pick up off the floor. It's a good idea just to do one final check and make sure that each one of the corners is aligned with the tree. This is looking pretty good. It's really important not to forget this next bit before the tensile gets too high and especially tonight because the storms are coming. It's important to put the rain flow on. You know which way it goes on because the tensile logo on there. Rainfly matches the tensile logo on the inner tent. To secure the rainfly, you first need to make sure that the first toggles from each corner are connected, and then you get the hook, bring it down through the metal ring, and just clip it onto the toggle. Just like that. Easy. Each one of these toggles not only makes sure that the rainfly protects the inner tent, but it also creates a lovely little pocket of insulating air just to keep you a little bit warm. Once the rain fly is firmly done up, continue moving around tightening the straps until the ratchets physically can't create any more tension. Then your tensile is ready for action. Should you not be expecting rain, then there are extra inner tent doors all the way around on the inside and you can see the toggles there and here where you can tie the doors up. There's also great little pouches just inside where you can put your stuff. Another one there. So that's pretty good. Usually you can have the tensile way up in the air if you want to. They recommend about four foot above the ground. So we're definitely a little bit lower than that recommendation, but it doesn't really matter. The idea is that it's slung up in the air. You get that beautiful feeling of half hammock, half trampoline. Gosh, and it's ever so comfortable. 